Hi everybody, welcome to Paper Wishes Weekly Webisodes. I'm Lene Garrick, and today from Crafters Companion, I have the fantastic Arabian Nights collection. We've got the 12 by 12 pearl paper pad. We've also got Arabian Nights mosaic tiles 3D embossing folder. And this is the Moroccan Lanterns metal cutting die. It's like an edger die. And you guys, together they make cards like this one with that beautiful edger cutting die. And this is our giveaway card for this episode. So stick around and I'll tell you how one lucky viewer can win this card to keep or share with a friend. So come play with us. All right, let's take a flip through. 36 pieces and you're getting three of each design. They're of course double sided. Look at this beautiful with the oranges, the purples, the pinks, the cityscape right there, the moon, the tassels, the draped pearls, it's gorgeous. And on the back of that one, this beautiful sort of mosaic tile pattern. Look at the greens and the golds and the teals on this one, amazing. So these beautiful scarves coming down, the lanterns, the city is just peeking up there, the florals. And on the back, this really cool shape. Look at that shape right there. All right, on the next one. Oh, I love all the draping of the pearls and then these little light bulbs and the lanterns. It's very exotic, very beautiful. And on the back side, beautiful. I love those medallions. Once again, gorgeous of the draping, little medallion print all over this one. Okay, and on the back, beautiful little stars all over this one. Look at the colors. All right, this one is the same. Okay, this one, oh, I love this. It's got this deep blue background and then the old orange, pink, and purple lanterns, the gold beads, and then down here among the tile, you've got the city. Gorgeous. And on the back of that one, navy blue with the city and lots of gold. This one's awesome with all the beautiful mosaic tile, the draping again, the lanterns, the tassels are just awesome, and all those beautiful florals. And then on the back, lots of orange and yellow and golds. Beautiful blues, greens on this, lots of big medallions peeking through, and again, just peeking through with that the city scene down at the bottom. And then on the back, this is awesome. One big medallion, big medallion, and then all this mosaic. This one's gorgeous too with the green and the oranges and then the dark, dark orange down here. All of those tassels hanging, the beads draping. And then on the back, this is gorgeous. It starts with the green and then it just bleeds down into this orange with the spires from the city and then edges of medallions. All right, this one, gorgeous, with all the beading again, little banners. I'm gonna show you how to utilize those and this fantastic cityscape. We're gonna definitely do something with this one for like a quick and easy card, I'm gonna demonstrate. Come on. And then on the back of this one, those corners of the medallions again, green and then all that mosaic. Okay, beautiful green and blue and gold tile, beautiful lanterns, lots of draping of the beads, beautiful florals. Love the moons where they add the moon and the star just peeking in there. This one is gorgeous with the palm tree. Oh, I forgot to show you the back. Here we go, lots of mosaic going on with that beautiful color. And then this one with the gorgeous palms, palm tree. And these are really cool like lantern shapes. And then on the back of that one, gorgeous. This one was a really fun one to play with. And then, oh, look at that. That's a showstopper. Pinks, 
going from dark pinks to light pinks, draped gold beads, lanterns with the beautiful tassels on them. You've got these scarves flowing in and then the beautiful skyline and then you've got like, it's edged in gold. Oh my word. And the back, amazing as well. All right, now I'm gonna flip back to this, this cityscape. Okay, beautiful. And that one for me was just perfect for a slimline card. So this is eight and a half by three and a half inches wide. And you know what? I just took this card and I covered it with glue and then I just aligned it right here with this bottom edge and it just went right along the top. It went just below the moon. And then I took some of my tiny scissors and I cut out that moon and then <clears throat> foam taped that right here, just above the city. And then I inked the edges of the whole thing with a little gold metallic ink all the way around the card edge, even did a little bit of a smudge on the moon there. And then we've got these beautiful little stars. Here we go. I used the gold stars in this gold and silver set of stars. There we go. And happy birthday dazzles. Now this comes in a pack, 96 happy birthday dazzle stickers. And I honestly could not decide which color because so many of these colors would look great on here, but I decided to pick up this gold in the star theme. So we did that. And then just added a couple little blue mirror dual dazzle stickers on either side of that. And that, you guys, that was such a quick card to put together. All right, next one I to show you. Yes, this one is our giveaway card. All right, so for this one, you guys, how this works is we are promoting our Paper Wishes YouTube channel. If you're watching us on our webisode channel, the link for YouTube is right down there. You would just click on that. It would take you to our YouTube channel. We want you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And then if you've already watched this video on Paper Wishes, that's fine. If you want to watch it on YouTube, that's great. We want you to like and comment about the video. Tell us what you think about the cards, about all the supplies, um, all of that. And then we're going to wait about a week and then we're going to pick one comment and we're going to reply to it with instructions on how you claim your card. We'll also put it on the community page with a photo of the card and that's the YouTube community page. And it's best to select the little notification bell at the top right hand corner. If you click on that, you'll get notified whenever Paper Wishes is making an announcement like this. All right. So we don't want you to miss out on that. So for this one, you guys, I just took some of this beautiful, where is it, blue glitter cardstock. So gorgeous. And took this cutting die right along the edge to cut that out, All right? Now, I also wanted to show you how to cut this out. So if you're cutting it out of glitter cardstock. You would just put it on the glitter cardstock, cut a strip of it, run it through your die cutting machine, tack it down with some low tack tape, you're good to go. Now what if you want to cut it from the edge of say just a blank card? So I wanted to show you this is a five by six and a half inch card. Here we go. And what I did was, ooh, it's upside down. All right, for this one, we took the die and we placed it on the blank card just where we wanted it. Okay, everything to the right of the die is gonna get cut away. And then you just take a little bit, low tack tape, you do not need much. And I like to tack this on the part that's getting cut away. That way there's no problem with the tape getting smushed down on that card. All right, then what you're gonna do is take a piece of scrap card stock, you're gonna put that right over the top of that. Now you're taking the back part of the card and you're folding it around, you're making a sandwich. And now you're gonna turn it, now it's five inches wide, and your cutting platform on your die cutting machine this is like six inches wide or larger, and you're gonna put it through there, and then it's gonna give you this, beautiful design and then you just can cut it away just like this just like this 
And then what if you just took some of this blue glitter cardstock or the holographic paper and you just put a border of it right behind the card? That would be a really beautiful, quick and easy card. Put a beautiful dazzle sticker right there for your sentiment and you're done, okay? So really beautiful and easy to do, which we love, all right? And I'm gonna show you how to use these, this die in another way coming up. All right, so once we did this part, then I'd covered the left side of the card with some beautiful paper, and then I glued this strip right to the card edge, right there. And then I took some straight line dazzle stickers. These are colorful straight line dazzle stickers. And I used the mirror gold right here just to cover that edge. And then on the inside, you guys, we took some gold holographic paper and just put a little bit right there. So this had something to back up against. And then I took one of the blue dazzle stickers, this really dark blue, and covered that line, that edge as well. Took some more of this blue glitter and just cut it into a strip and then just put a little notch on it. And then I used, these are card inside and outside greeting dazzle stickers. They come in a pack of all these colors. And I used the gold one and I just added celebrate. Okay, because that could be for a lot of different occasions. Then added some gold pearl butterfly dazzles. I thought those were fun among that beautiful um, palm and flowers. And then added a little bow of velvet shimmer ribbon. It's very glittery. And my card is just so shimmery and glimmery. So you guys, this is our giveaway card. So definitely don't forget to participate in that. Right, what else have I got to show you? Right, so this one, five by six and a half inches, all right? And this one had some of those flags I was pointing out when we were doing the flip through. And I took another part of the paper and I just cut out some of the flags. Now, that might seem intimidating, but what I did was I just cut along this line and then I just cut a line here, 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 here. And then it just sort of came off and then this one, and then it's got this little string holding it together. I put a foam tape right there from our giant wheel of foam tape. <laughs> so if you're not familiar with this, it's 150 feet or 50 yards of foam tape for about 20 bucks. The most economical way to buy your foam tape. And we use a ton of it around here. Anyway, I just foam taped those. This little flower was on this banner and that gave me the idea to cut out a couple little more flowers and I foam taped those. And then I got to play with some little jewels and I used these purple jewel stickers along the bottom. And then I put some jewel stickers here on the top along with some raspberry colored jewels and put those here and here. So there's purple and raspberry. And then this beautiful thing, this is a gorgeous moon cutting die. And this is to the moon cutting die from hot off the press. Love you to the moon and back. And I cut this beautiful moon for some beautiful, um, this one is, I gotta look up what color this is. It's like a rose pink, rose pink glitter cardstock. Really, really gorgeous. And then this one right here is gold Miri cardstock that I cut this greeting from. And I just glued those on there. Don't forget to put another little crystal. So gorgeous. And this is tenfold card. So I put all of these items, they're all listed down below if you're interested in one particular card or all of the supplies. And don't forget, we have a fantastic money saver bundle right over there. If you're watching us on YouTube, hey, don't worry about it. Just check the link in the description box and you will um, it'll take you right to this Paper Wishes webisode page so you can check out the deals. All right, so this one, you guys, is using the 3D embossing folder. Five by six and a half inch card, covered it with one of the reverse sides of the papers that had pinks and purples. And then I inked the edges of that with a little gold ink. All right, and then how I did this embossing folder, I took some white cardstock and I colored it with, let me see, violet ink, hot pink, and orange. 
Okay, and I just used my little applicator tool like this, and I just applied ink like this, just using little circular motions, right? And then I took this and I misted it. Oh, gotta find my mister now. I didn't grab that ahead of time. Lene, I'm gonna look in my supply box. Talk amongst yourselves. I'm still looking. Here it is. All right. I spilled half of my supply box, but that's okay. So we've got our little mister here. Oh, I also want to grab my craft mat. All right, and then once we have our color on there, and because these are prism dye-based inks, they will react with water. So we're gonna take this, and we're gonna mist it. I'm just gonna hold it six to eight inches away. Move this card out of the way. All right, so that's not only going to set that color on there when it dries, it's also moistening the paper, and it's also kind of giving little splotches of water on here, which I think is pretty cool. And then what we're gonna do is take this and we're gonna take the embossing folder and you could feel that it's got the raised images on this side and then the concaved images on this side. So this is the embossed side and this is the deboss side. We're gonna put it in there so it's gonna press up and then we're gonna close it. Now the moisture on this is gonna make for a really nice deep impression. And then you're gonna put it through your die cutting embossing machine and you're gonna roll it through this way with the fold first. If you roll it through this way, it can buckle and break this edge. So you're gonna roll it through and then when you're done, you're going to get this beautiful embossed. And we're gonna do the gold ink pad. I'm just gonna take it the surface of it and just do this right on top. And it's going to just hit those raised embossed areas. This is such a simple technique to do and I think it has a lot of wow. Your friends are gonna go, holy cow, how'd you do that? And you don't have to tell them how easy it was. That's my favorite, it's when things look harder than they are. So the important tip there, keep that flat and straight. Don't go like this or like this. Just keep it flat and straight, just like that. All right, and then I foam tape that using my giant wheel of foam tape. I put like four or five long strips of foam tape on there, put that right there. And then this little piece, I just had a scrap left from one of the pink and orange kind of colors of paper. And I inked the edges of that, and I put a little gold Miri cardstock there. And then this one, you guys, I actually took, you can find it. I took these, and then I just took my little scissors, and I just cut them out like this. I found that the more solid lanterns cut out more easily because they have more detail on them, or they have less detail on them. The detailed ones just ultimately kind of turned in sort of a spider web situation for me. So the more solid ones cut out really easily. And you're just going just like this. Of course, I die cut mine from gold Miri cardstock. And then I just sort of put them right there, staggered them, okay, so that they were a little different height. Put some raspberry jewels on there. Put some, these are such cute flowers. They would be perfect for this collection um, because they have all those colors in it. And I took some of the orange one and these are like bohemian flowers. I'll put the link for these and they're so tiny. And I glued one right there, foam taped this on top and then added from our nine little words um, cutting dies. I just did the thanks out of holographic paper. I literally had a scrap of that. And I thought, oh, that'll be perfect for a little word. And that's that. 
All right, so you guys, I've shared all these little tips and secrets with you. So definitely do me the favor of checking out our Money Saver. It's right there. Don't forget to like, comment, and be a subscriber on our Paper Wishes YouTube channel because we love to give cards away. Thanks for joining me, me and my cold, and we'll see you on the next one.